Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to some more Peglin. This is a game that I played on the channel when it entered early access uh, a few months ago now. This game is a really, really, really cool sort of um, Peggle based roguelike that I absolutely love and it's received quite a few updates since the last time that I played it. So I thought it would be a good idea to revisit it check it out again and see what's new, see what's interesting, and yeah, try out some of the new stuff because there has been some really, really cool stuff. Anyways, for those of you that have watched before, I hope you uh, enjoy coming back to this game. And for those of you that haven't, there is a lot to see in this game that I think you're really going to like. So we'll start a new run here. Um, let's not continue. Start a new run, yes. And uh, I did try out just briefly what some of the th new update things have, but um, for the most part, I'm going into this pretty blind to some of the new stuff. And there's been like four, five updates. Uh, we do have Crucible levels here, which is essentially like added difficulty uh, levels. But I think to start this out, let's just play regular. We won't play with the uh, increased difficulty. And we'll just try and figure this game out a little bit and figure out some of the stuff that's going on here. So we start out with um, being able to grab one relic here. We've actually got a relic up here. Uh, battle rewards and chests contain additional options to choose from. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, we've got bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated. Peg boards start with plus three bombs or bombs deal damage. So that's a lot of bomb related things. And I think I'm going to go for the additional bombs. We also do have the ability to speed up this game now as well. Uh, that's something that I noticed that I don't think I had access to last time, apart from through, uh, through modding. So this is one of the things that I noticed that's new. We now have currency and lots of the orbs actually have uh, these little icons on them and they give you money when you hit them so the first time that you hit a peg now you actually get um a bit of money and you can use that money to buy your upgrades and um buy your new orbs which is definitely different than how it used to work so i'm very very intrigued also one thing that i really love about this new money system is one thing that i always felt with peglin one thing i always felt it was missing is in Peggle, for any of you that have watched or played that game, there's a very satisfying ding, ding, ding as you hit all the pegs. Uh, this game never really had that, and the coins have definitely added that for me. There's now a really satisfying ding when you hit pegs, and it, although it, it does disappear when the peg has been cleared of its coin, once it's been refreshed using these green refreshes here, um, it still sounds really good. And as you can see, bombs are doing a great job for us here. Bombs do 50 damage to all the enemies, whereas the pegs do a set amount of damage based on the uh, orb that you're using. As I said, if you haven't seen this game before, I do recommend going back and watching some of the earlier episodes in the series, but I'll try and explain things a little bit as we go along for anyone that is new to Peglin. Um... But here, here's what I was talking about. So we've got 45 coins here, um, and we've got our options, or we can upgrade one of the things that we already have. Each of these cost. So we can take uh, this, which is the all orb nothing, weak uh, regular damage that cannot be not, uh, modified, massive crit damage. So that does 9 on a crit, but 0 to anything else. We've got the um, Warp Hammer, which sounds interesting. Dense, and it has Overflow. Overflow causes damage to carry over to the next enemy. That sounds really good. We have the Oh My Gob. Destroys any hit pegs um, and attacks all enemies. So that's, that's risky because it will destroy the peg permanently, but it'll deal a lot of damage. And then we also have the um, Nurse for Nurse or Batu. Heals you and damages targets for one times the amount of damage, uh, for one times the amount healed. Deal 15 unblockable self-damage when fired. Self-damage increases by 7 this battle. Ooh. That sounds risky. I think I'm going to take this uh, this warb. Warhammer orb. What I'm going to call it. Uh, and then you have an access... So you can actually buy two orbs in a row. And you can still upgrade. Okay. That is rather interesting. Now, I did actually take a good look at my map here. So we'll have a little look. We want to be going for chests and elites, so I think I'm going to go to the left here and try and fight an elite. Now, I wonder, can I get coins? Oh, I may have buggered this. Ah, oh, oh well. Um, Can I actually... I might still be able to get to the elite. Nah, I can't. Unfortunate. That was a little bit stupid of me. We'll see what we end up getting here. Um, Honestly, let's try and go straight down the middle. We've got something new over here. Uh, refresh the board when this orb leaves the pegboard. Interesting. And then we've got the bramble as well. I wonder if uh, there's been any balancing, because Bramble was never very good before. I'll see if I can get the dense one again, but honestly, it's not super likely. But yeah, I wonder if you can still get the coins later on. Come on. 
Yes! Yes. I'd love another one of those, thank you. And this I don't really care about. I'm just going to shoot it and see where it goes. I would not be remiss with a battle, so I don't mind that. And then we can we can use the F to speed up to two times. You can go up to three times in the settings, but I thought two times would be plenty. Um, okay, so there's not as many coins this time around. Maybe that first level we want to spend a bit more time on in the future. But it kind of looks to me like we want to be focusing on the coins first and playing the game to kill the enemies kind of secondary, which sounds really weird, really, but... It honestly seems like a pretty decent way of doing this. And honestly, we got quite a lot of coins there. We're up to 34 already. This is a really unique addition to the game that I wasn't expecting. I haven't checked. I wonder if there's going to be any shops as well. So this is the thing that does over damage. I was hoping to hit a crit with it. Um, that didn't happen. But we got a good amount of damage there because the bombs are going to kill those. And unfortunately, over damage doesn't actually matter there. That was a bit of a shame. Do we have an easy crit here? We do. If we have an easy crit, we can um, trash our current orb, skip to the next one in line, and uh, grab it. So this is the uh, dagger, dag orb that does extra crit damage. So we'll take that and get the quick kills. With our bombs here, there's no real reason to use them at this moment because um, the enemies are going to die pretty quickly. But there's only one extra enemy coming up anyways. Um, now with this guy like that, we can just get the kill. What I probably should have done there is actually wasted a bit of time and uh, got some money there. But oh well. Okay, so we can go with the reorganizer. Shuffles them every five. Okay. We got the ball lightning, which is pretty good. Memorb. And another stone. We have 54. Maybe maybe it's worth just going um, upgrade and... Oh, okay. The price increases, of course. Uh, I'm going to save my money. Honestly, I think it might be worth saving my money. This is a really, really interesting rework to the game's sort of economy. Not that it had an economy before, really. So where do we want to go here? I think I want to go zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Can I, like, highlight a path? It'd be nice if I could highlight a path. That's something that the modding added that um, the vanilla game doesn't have yet. But I wonder if it'll uh, get it eventually. The game is still in development, so there's still things being worked on. But yeah, let's go this way. I don't want to use speed up all the time, especially in the early game here. These are some new enemies to me, these uh, little wooden fellas. Okay. A lot of bombs going on here. So I think I'm just going to try and hit the crit for now with a regular stern. I'm not that bothered about hitting as much money as possible. If we hit money, I'll be happy. If not, I'm, I'm not going to be super sad. I think I think this is all going to be about um, hitting as many bombs as possible. So I'm going to go for the crits. And this, this was an unfortunate one. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I just want to clear out as much room as I can to get into those bombs. I'd rather not hit that refresh, but I reckon I am going to. Oh, the, the, the border on upgraded things is now different. So you know which one your upgrades are. Your upgraded ones are. That's pretty good. So let's go here. With this being more dense, it should fall pretty much directly down onto those bombs. I'm hoping it destroys at least one of them. Yeah, there you go. Maybe two. Ah, we did get a refresh there. We're not really looking for refreshes. But a bomb should help out. And remember, this is going to have overflow damage too. Now, the bats did survive. I think we should try and go for the bombs again. Yeah, we got one bomb at least. No. Okay, that was that was fine. Okay, this was actually great. This worked out exactly as it should have done. And we got the crit for the overflow damage. We've not gained much money, but we've cleared out everything. Um, we can also heal for money as well. I didn't think healing would cost, but it does. So we got the swab. That's just a higher damage stone, essentially. Upgrade pegs. This is new. Um, oh, no, no, no. This is just the all of nothing. And we've also got the Inferno Orb, which destroys shields in one hit now, now as well. They never, they never used to do that. I don't know what the shields are. They might just be the shields on the next level that we'll see. Um, or they might be something new entirely. I think this time we'll go for some uh, upgrades here. So I think we'll upgrade you. And I think I'm pretty happy with where, where our current loadout sits right now. So let's see if we can... Does it, does it matter which, which way we hit this time? No, it does not. So I'm just going to try and see if I get it, get the money out of those. I do. Okay. Good to know. I do actually get that money. So it is worth going after it towards the end if you can. That's very good to know. We can go this way, this way, and then towards that elite there. Do, 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 do. 
Hmm, I think I, I think I want to go this side because there's more bombs. It that did not work out as I planned it to, but I might at least hit this bomb. Yeah, we did good. Got more of these uh these tree guys, which is why uh why I want to be using the bombs as much as possible. No overflow of damage occurred there. I'm gonna get rid of one of the rocks here just to get to our other stuff a little easier. Let's go for that. Ah, oh, balls. I was hoping I could at least touch that bomb. This guy's getting reasonably close. Can we get an easy crit on the next hit though? We can. Not that we need it, because we're only we only need 38 damage on this guy, and this won't deal any overage damage. We got a bomb anyways, so. Pretty darn good. We really don't want to be hitting the refreshes yet again on this uh, stage. Because we, uh, ooh, okay, so the tree's corpse is block damage. That's interesting to note. Yeah, we honestly don't really want to be hitting the, um, don't know how exactly I'm going to do this. I want to hit the bombs, but yeah, it didn't really happen, did it? Uh, the tree's corpse is block a bit of damage. That's good to know. Oh, we had to reload there as well, so that caused problems. Really? How did that not hit the bomb? I keep forgetting these things are extra dense. We're going to actually take some damage now, but we hit one bomb. We got a crit in there as well. Nice. We got quite a lot of money there too. I'm liking the money. I love the music in this game. Okay, we got the kill. So this is new to me. The Bully Ball. Gain plus one, plus one each time you lose health through self-damage this battle. Wow. Now that is a really interesting prospect. It doesn't fit our current build, I have to say, but that is really cool. I think I'm going to go with another upgrade, and we're going to upgrade this again, and then I'm going to buy the Dag Orb as well. I like having additional Dag Orbs. Um, and then we need to go to the right here, which I think should be pretty easy. There you go. And then hopefully we can get this elite on the next uh, the next area. Kind of got to think about your pathing when you when you try and carve out an area. So realistically, we want to be carving out as much as this side as possible. But honestly, I think we actually just want to um, make sure we get as much damage as possible. So I'm going to go for the crit. Not that we need the overage damage, because but we still get the kill. Um, I'm going to throw in my dag orb here. I don't think it's going to be all that useful. We're looking to hit that bomb in the center, but not yet. We just want to, we want to ignite it. We don't want to actually use it. Because there's only one enemy on screen. We want to keep bombs for when there's multiple enemies on screen to hit. At the minute, I'm more so playing the game of clearing out enough of an area for us to actually throw straight down. Um, when it comes to... Oh, we almost actually threw that bomb out there. And again... When it comes to actually getting to the uh, chest that I mentioned, this is going to be pretty good here. We should be able to ignite a few bombs. I realize this is a dag orb, so it's not super worth doing this. We got a refresh. Not what I wanted at all. Not what I wanted at all. That's, that's terrible, because basically we've just undone all that progress on the left-hand side there. This should probably kill everything, so I'm hoping I clear out enough of the right side to make this viable. Do not hit that refresh. Okay, I think we're good. I think we've cleared out a little path. That was an insane bit of damage there. The Shock Absorber. Um, plus 1-1 one, one for every bomb detonated this battle. Ooh. We've also got the, um, the Rub Orb, extra bouncy. And we've got the Critter Ball. Every attack is a crit. Convert every 8... We'll try that out. Yeah, why not? Um, and then we'll continue. And this, yes. You see, this is this is what I mean. This side, it's a little bit harder. I mean, we can just go over there. But this side's super easy to get the elite because we've got a straight shot to it. Very worth clearing out and kind of remembering what your goal is in that term. Sort of thinking. And we want to be killing elites here because elites can give us additional items. And items are a bit rarer. A bit harder to get. I'm going to go for a gamble here and try and do this. That did not work at all, but we'll get this bomb regardless, so I don't really care. But you can see what I was trying to do there. I was trying to hit that crit, but we managed to get two bombs out of it and a good amount of coins too. These enemies can do an absolute number on you, so this this is not a particularly easy uh, boss. Oh, that was bad. Okay, that was really bad. I was hoping to at least kill this guy with this next one, but do not fret for we have a crit with this. 
Which, I was about to say, if we hit that refresh... It's not a guaranteed big damage, unless we hit that bomb. Okay, no, this is good still. This is good. I uh, get 134 on you, and then we go refresh. Although this one didn't refresh for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that hasn't refreshed. We get the kill there. We've actually not lost too much health on this guy. These, these enemies are normally ones that absolutely destroy me, and... Oh, it's because it was a bomb, of course. That's why I didn't refresh. Come on, get the crit. Oh, you bastard. That's such low damage. And we've got two of these back to back. Crits change position every time, so we might get a bit, we might get more, uh, like a bit luckier, and we did indeed this time, but you're not always going to get that. Unfortunately, hitting multiple crits in uh, one orb doesn't do anything unless you have a specific item that helps with that. So that was a little bit of a waste. At the minute... I'm just trying to not get hit too much and try and collect some coins here. These refreshes are pretty unfortunate, really. Um, I think we're going to go for this. I like the fact that all of these are crits. We got him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So what was this? Refreshes the orb when this leaves the pegboard. I don't think I'm going to go for that. I think I'm just going to go for the upgrade. And I think I'm going to go for this. Uh, it still says eight. Um, I think I'm going to go for this and just have both of those max upgraded. Uh, previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed, but they deal less damage. Okay, um, refresh activates nearby pegs, and all attacks gain 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go with 1-1 one, one on all attacks. I think that sounds like the best. This really doesn't matter which way we go, but we'd like to get an elite. One second. Okay, we're back. Okay, so we've been to that elite. Where do we want to go now? So I don't think it matters too much. I think we want to go... Actually, no, it literally doesn't matter right now. It, it doesn't matter at all. So let's uh, close our map. And we can just fire it at some coins. Get some more coins and go wherever it takes us. And we'll get another item here. And then we've got another item directly after that as well, which I quite like the idea of. Okay, so. Um, heal one for every peg while navigating. Or all attacks get... Okay, so we're going for that because then, then our attacks are just looking really good. And then here we go straight for the chest. And we get yet another chest here. Oh, oh, this Is that a shop, maybe? Um, Balance grants... Balance grants uh, orbs XX. Ooh, okay, we'll take that. Okay, so our orbs are going to be stacked here. Um, does it matter which way? Okay, so we, we should have aimed for the shops here, or what I assume are shops. Um, I don't think it really matters what we take here. I think we're going to go for the bombs. If you manage to detonate all of the bombs in the center, which is a little hard to do, you get an extra item. Um, as you saw there, it didn't end up happening for us. But we've got a really interesting build set up here. Um... This is a pretty easy combat, uh, combat like... Area just because of all the bombs in the center. The overage damage is going to be quite nice later down the line. Let's go for a crit here. Again, we want to try and get as many coins as possible. But I think the later in the game that you get, the less that's going to be like something that you... The less that's going to be something that you like constantly go for. I think we're going to... Because we've got an easy crit here, we go for another one of these. We are having the game sped up a little bit here. Just because we're getting through some of the more simple battles. I think when we're looking into sort of new things, we, we don't need it sped up. But when we're, when we're just doing this, we can speed it up a little bit and be reasonably happy. Um, I would have liked to have uh, detonated some of these bombs that are all fizzling, but it didn't really work out. But we got a few of them there, and that's the, uh, that's the kill. So we could take a, a level 2 um, of one of these again. We could also take the orbs and uh, activate each peg two times. Interesting. We've also got this here. Only hits bombs, refreshes, and uh, crits, pierces through all others, can target any enemy. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm honestly going to go with another one of these, though. Um, I was looking to upgrade it straight away, but I can't quite afford that, but that's fine. Health is a little on the weaker side, but I think that's okay. We'll take an event again. We've been getting pretty unlucky with our events, to be honest. Sometimes you can get some weird things. We've mostly been getting um, pretty normal battles. Um, right, we got flying enemies are attacked horizontally, allowing for proof targeting. Um, refreshes move after every shot. Activated. Okay, we probably want the middle one, but we, we have almost no say in what we end up getting here. 
This was the worst one of the lot, but I'll still take it. And then, again, I'm just going to shoot at random and see where it ends up going, because you're kind of at the whim of the game with these. And we got the battle. Battle's not bad, though. We can get some money, get some upgrades going. And then we have our boss. I probably will heal after this, just to make sure we can get through our boss. And I think we'll speed up again here. So we'll use the little roundabout method here. Unfortunately, the dense uh, orb here did make that a little less useful. We're going to do it again, though, because we get a crit here. And it won't kill everything, because unfortunately there is a, a flying enemy there. But it's still pretty good. And I think... I'm going to throw this away and do this and try and get, add some more crits to the board. There you go. I got one more crit on the board. That's decent. There's only ever two unless you have items or, like, things that add more. So being able to add more, like, that's pretty good. I'd really like to hit a refresh here because things aren't looking too great right now. I'm going to bin that. There you go. Of course, then it hits both the refreshes in one go. Let's try for this. Okay, I got the bomb. I was going to be really annoyed if I didn't actually get the bomb there. We'll just go for the bomb. And then we got the crit as well. Lovely. And then we get our balance. Yeah, we got a lot of damage with our orbs now. With all the bonuses we've got going on. All we need to hit is that bomb. We're good to go. And then... Yeah, I think I'm just going to heal here. Uh, it's a little bit of a waste of money, potentially. Considering we can't upgrade or anything else. Because we don't have enough. I should have paid attention to that, actually. Uh, but I want enough health to get through this boss. I want to make sure we can do it. I want to make sure I can show off a good amount of this game on the first run back on. Uh, so there's a lot and a lot of money available um, here. We can't get a guaranteed crit off the bat here. This is a dense orb, so it's not going to do great. It's probably just going to yeah, fall straight down the center. And it's only going to hit the tree anyways. But you can kill the tree. But you'll see how we end up fighting the boss later on. With a refresh there, that's good. Getting all the coins here is good. Honestly, the tree might go down pretty quick here. I think we go with this and... Just try and get some more crits close to the uh, the spawn. Close to the uh, the top there. And we managed to. We got two more. I think that's going to make for um, a lot easier. Dag orbs. Obviously, they won't stay there, but... In fact, I don't know. Do they stay there? Do they stay in the position you spawned them in? I don't actually know if that's the case. Okay, another refresh there. That's fantastic. We're doing really good damage to him, though. You can see, though, he, he is dealing 10 a whack, which is pretty huge. The bomb there is going to be pretty nice. 130 damage though. Absorbed into that dude. We got the bomb. Nice. And we got the crit. Okay, this was a fantastic chunk of damage there. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. We don't really need to do a crit there. We're only killing you. We do get a full heal at the end of the fight here. So I'm not that bothered. I was trying to hit the bombs here. This is a bit of a shame. But one more hit on these bombs secures us the victory. So I don't care. I'm just trying to get a bit more money there. That kills them all. We get the victory. And we can take anything else we want or we can go for another upgrade here. We do have the spear. Attacks pierce one enemy. Let's go with the spear here. Spear here. And we'll uh, upgrade it a little bit. And it pierces two. And there you go. That is that's a beautiful way to spend our money there. Randomly adds two orbs to your deck, then randomly upgrades orbs four times. Ooh. It's hard to get rid of orbs on your deck, so it is, that is a little scary. Um, all orbs get plus, but boards contain one less refresh. That's really tricky. I'm going to go with it because it sounds interesting. There's the forest complete. Uh, and we've been adding a lot of damage recently. It's kind of a damage-based build. But well, uh, removing a refresh is scary. We're going to be looking for an item that adds a refresh. Okay, so these these armor things we saw before. I wonder if that's going to destroy his shield. This this thing that we've got here, this um, weapon, the whatever orb you want to call it, um, does destroy the shields. It seems they're just protected blocks. It doesn't do anything other than protect them. Which is fine. Still interesting. But yeah, only having one refresh pair board could could be really bad. It could be pretty pretty um like nothing. <laughs> it, it, it might not make any difference at all, really. But I have a feeling in certain situations it's going to be less than convenient. I think the thing we need to be doing is keeping the refresh where like keeping it here sort of thing until we need it, like now where the board's getting a bit thin. 
And then try and keep them in convenient places to hit. Like, that one's in a really convenient place. I think we should just try and leave it there for now. Beautiful. You're almost dead. Oh, beautiful. Double bombs and you're dead. Okay, we'll go with the upgrade and we'll get you upgraded to max. I'm really liking this new system with the money. Uh, let's, let's, let's turn off the speed down for now. Where do we want to be going? So we got a shop over this way. We don't really have the money to make a shop work. So I, I, I w although I would like to see a shop. Is the one further down I can see? There isn't. So I think this, this left side is so much better, I'll be honest. I'm going to just take the left side. I, I want to see the shop, but we, we're not going to have enough gold for it. And honestly, this left side just has way more to offer for us. It has a chest available. It has an elite available. Okay, this has a lot more refreshes, so that's fine. <laughs> um, I think we're going to go with that. And we'll try and hit a crit here. I think I'm just going to wait for the crit to come back around. And we've got pierces plus two targets. So that should go through all of these guys, apart from maybe the shield. I don't know. I don't know if the shield counts as a target or not. I'm going to guess because it has a health bar that it does. Right. Good, good. That was good damage. Okay, yeah, went through all of them. Good. We got two of these guys taken care of pretty easily here. Now, this with the dense orb isn't going to be very good, I don't think. Now, these, these refreshes seem to only last the one time. So, we don't want to be aiming directly at them. But, the overage damage... Actually, we don't, don't even need the overage damage. Oh, no. It worked. It, it, got us, it got us through the shield. Damn it, that didn't work as planned at all. But, honestly... We only hit one refresh and managed to do a good bit of damage here. Oh, if I could just detonate one bomb, that would have been perfect. Okay, this is good. We should add a good amount of crits to the board here. And we got a bomb as well, lovely. Every eight pegs we hit adds another crit. Makes our dag orbs even stronger. Double bombs there. That was big. That was big. And yeah, now we've got a bunch of crits all over the board. Just huge. Ah, oh, we used a lot of refreshes we didn't have to use there. In fact, we've used almost all the refreshes, bollocks. These shielded ones are a real problem. I'm glad that I took um, an orb that allows us to kill them pretty easily. It's making our life a ton easier. So now that we've got that bomb, it's going to destroy the shield off of this guy. Although, yeah, I was about to say, I think the bombs are going to kill him straight outright, aren't they? Um, I think now we want to maybe upgrade this bad boy, um, and we can't upgrade him again, unfortunately. Okay, we'll leave that as is, and then we just, we just want to find an angle where we can shoot straight down here. There you go. Beautiful. I'm really enjoying this new update, I've got to say, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying a return back to the Peglin content. I know it wasn't the most popular series on my channel, but still. Place an orb and duplicate. I definitely want to duplicate my, um, my spear. Just because with the spear, oh, this is going to be kind of hard to orchestrate. it. Okay. Uh, yeah, with the spear, we can pierce targets. So that's really important. We have overage damage, but that's not the same as piercing damage. So we get the chest, which is hopefully going to be pretty good. Um, immediate deal one damage to the target every time. Um, for every two pegs hit. Each shot, um, e each shot a random... It's pumpkin pie. A random slot be becomes a portal... And teleport orbs to the top of the pegboard up to three times. I don't know what that means. I'm going to try it. <laughs> a random slot. I don't know what it means by a random slot. We got every coin collected uh, during navigation is worth four. They move after every shot. And battle starts with five extra coins. I'd like to get the center one if I can. But I'm, I won't complain about the other ones either. That's pretty decent. A lot more money. Health-wise, how are we doing right now? Oh, hello. Um, Accept the bribe and sneak away. Accept the bribe. Every reload grants you... Um... Okay. That, we, 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 are, we are getting a really insane damage build going on, to be honest. Like, we're just stacking damage on damage on damage all the time. Oh, okay, we got our first mini-boss here. This is a new guy. He's a wizard-type character. 
that refresh is in a really horrible spot. So what we want to do really is, is clear out and move it. Didn't get the crit, sadly. So I think that's the random the random slot that it's on about. Now this, let's just add as many crits as we can. Hitting a bomb is just so good for that momentum add. I'm not sure if these crits that it adds are like reusable crits. Like, will they respawn when I get a refresh? Or do they just do they just work the one time? Oh that's how the pot this is nutty. That's insanely good. That that is like that is like legit insanity how good that is. Holy, that is that is so unbelievably good. Wow. We got another crit here, which is awesome. And quite a lot of coins. Oh no, I thought it was gonna hit the refresh. Well, I mean we're not not that we need it, because we are just absolutely stomping this guy down. I think the crit thing we got going on is a really good play. And that's proving to be very valuable. Th this is this is crazy good. Cannot be understated how good this is. So he's protecting these um these things with armor over time. So it's making it harder and harder for us to clear the map, but we don't give a damn. Um, um buh, 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 buh. upgrade. Let's get that upgraded again. Continue on. When you heal, deal three times to the uh, damage to the target. Activating multiple increases. Oh, that's really good because now having multiple crits on the board is actually worth something. Like having multiple crits on the board that you hit in one turn is actually worth something. And we have a lot of crits on the board a lot of the time. Considering we just upgraded our orb as well. We got extra damage from bombs. I'm going to go with the extra damage from bombs. And then this way... I'd rather go to the right here. Get that extra elite going. If we lose health before the boss, we can always spend some money to regain it. Okay, we've got another fight here. The mirrors can be kind of tough. Mirrors are a bit weird. This is a pretty good stage, though, from what I remember. Let me just check what my, um, this orb did at level 3. Every 6 now instead of every 8. Okay, lovely. But you'll see that my attacks are mirrored on both sides because we're fighting mirrors. So the uh, the pegs that I hit are mirrored on either side. It's pretty interesting. Also, certain attacks only do half damage, whereas certain attacks do double damage to these guys. That is so, so, so nutty that it can fall into that and just get brought back to the top again. Like, if it falls in that again, that's crazy. It did, and it could do that up to three times. That's, like, look how much damage we've dealt here. This is craziness. Like, this is lunacy. We've, <laughs> we've got 3,000 in a shot here. Like, that was... This is overage damage as well, remember? There you go. Combat done. <laughs> Simple as. Um, I guess we'll just start upgrading other stuff. Damn, 312 to 315. That only impacts crits. Let's go with the regular stones. Let's upgrade them. Ah, I can't quite get it on the upgrade there. Um, and then, yeah, let's let's heal. Why not? We're not using our money for anything right now. Make sure we're at tip-top health for um, fighting this guy. I was going to heal after, but why, why not just heal before? We, we, we were literally like... Actually, it was maybe a little bit of a waste. I did it on 84. Maybe I could have done it a little later than that. It's fine. It's fine. Right, so this time we want to land as many crits as I, as I can here. It's, remember, it's every six this time. So that's, that's, that's a big a big difference. Now, I'm hoping we can get at least... Yeah, that, that, I was going to say at least like five or six on the board. And it seems like that's exactly what we did. And now, remember, hitting multiple crits is going to actually like have an impact. So if we hit more than one crit, it's going to give us... That three times multiplication there, we're up to 300 damage, 468. Now, this isn't overage damage with those. With other things, it will be, so 
makes a difference. Now, I am noticing that our refresh is in not a great spot, so I'm going to try and open that up a little bit. Doesn't matter if we don't hit it yet. I, I, We've got plenty on the board still. We're just opening it up a little bit's good. We do have one of these sort of knight-like enemies. In fact, I think I'm going to leave it for a little bit there. I think I'm not going to go for the refresh just yet. I think I'm going to wait and see what else I can do first. We've not hit our portal just yet, but we're about to. There you go. Beautiful. We hit the refresh for free anyways, and you have to aim at it. We might get this bomb. Nah, not quite. But we might hit the uh, the portal again here. Nah, but we did get the refresh again, and that's good. Not because we need the refresh, just to relocate it to a bit more of a prime position. Because right there, it's a, it's an almost straight shot to it, whereas the other ones would be a little more difficult. So we'll go for the crit here. There you go. I'd like to duplicate my crit ball if I can. Remove my stones as well if I can. I, I know I've spent some money upgrading them, but that's just while I have them. If I if I find a way to remove them, then I'll certainly take it. You got just blasted there, my dude. You got absolutely blasted. Now, we have got piercing damage on this, so this bat guy is already dead. It's just if we can get the 100 and something damage. Okay, everything's dead. Now we can speed up. Boom. Beautiful. Um... Strong attraction uh, to those. Weak attraction to bombs. Effect is at full strength for three seconds. Decrease to over six. I really like the idea of that. But I am getting a bit full on my uh, orbs. Can target enemies deal six unblockable self damage when fired? I, I think I'm going to save my money and leave everything as is. Extra attention to refresh as bombs. That's not super useful for us. All attacks have Echo 10. The previous damage is dealt. Uh, whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. See, that's really good. But it doesn't help as much on bosses. I'm going to take it anyways because we, we are lacking ways to refresh. I'm going to take it anyways. Ah, oh, we fucking landed in the fire. There you go. Right, boss time. We are on 71 HP here, so that is a little bit lower than I'd like. But this boss tends to be fairly easy. I say that now and I'm going to regret it, I'm sure. The problem with this stage is going to be the refreshes. I have a feeling refreshes are really going to screw us here. I should be aiming for this, really, shouldn't I? Really powerful on this guy. So he is going to eat these dudes, so... Regardless if he survives or not, it's fine. Um, piercing doesn't really matter here, so let's get rid of one of those. Go for the bombs. Again, I should have really aimed for this. But we've hit a lot of bombs this time round. I really want to hit that refresh just to... I was going to say move it into a better spot. It's not a better spot, but this is what we're talking about. Being able to hit that middle and go straight down. Now, on this boss, it's not going to matter as much if we hit it directly from the above. Because it's just going to fall straight back down the same path again. But, like like this. But, if we do that and we get a refresh, it's huge. So, this guy, his health amount seems really daunting. But I think because of this, this stuff we've got going on, especially if we can get crits and stuff like that going on, it's not that crazy. We definitely need to be hitting better shots than we just did there. I realise I'm not going for the thingy here. Um, maybe I am. Look at that portal, but... I ended up bouncing all the way over here anyways. If it could land in that, I'd be super happy, but it's not going to, is it? Oh, no, it is. Good, good, good. We're just going to get as many crits as we can with this orb. You see what I mean? It kind of just falls down the same path over and over. But we got a lot of crits on the board there. A lot of crits on the board. I think we go for this one. And we aim for the right-hand side of it. There you go. Because we want to try and hit that refresh. If we don't hit it, it's not it's not devastating. But I'd really like to. Now, that isn't great. But the multiplicative crits allows us to deal an outstanding 2,500 damage there. Which is a very considerable amount of this guy's health. Okay. I'm going to whack it down here. Didn't mean to hit that bomb. That's unfortunate. And an aid to try and get the refresh going. Come on. Come on. It's, 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 it's all slanted towards the refresh. Eh, 
decent damage. It's going to be really tricky to hit that refresh now, though, I think. But I have to go for it now. Bollocks, this is really bad. I knew this was going to screw us. It's in a really rough spot, because we can't directly strike at it. Even if we get these out of the way, I think we still can't directly strike at it. Balls, this is really rough. We're losing a lot of turns here. Okay, we got it, we got it. That saves our life a little bit. I really, I'm really, i willing to thin my deck out. My, my deck's way too thick. I have like a lot of these things going on and I'm not getting to use them because I never have to reload. Because I've just got so many things in my deck. Kind of makes very little sense with the, the build we've set up, to be honest. I'm hoping it hits the portal here. It should. And then it hits another crit, and then it hits the refresh. No, no second portal, but he is pretty much dead at this point. We'll go for another one of these. Another bomb there. Another crit, and he is dead. Okay, definitely a risky boss, but as I said, he's kind of an easy one because he comes at you pretty slowly. But yeah, our deck is our deck is very thick. Um, what's what's going on with this? This is like a little thing on it. Oh, is that because it's max max rank? Yeah, it's it's rank three. I see, I see. Um, do I? I, I don't really want to buy any additional orbs. I'll be honest. Um, orbs get plus two, plus three, but you can only aim in four directions. Um, every shot has multi shot, but your attacks get minus two, minus two. Orbs get plus two, plus three um, while you have any negative status effect. You start each battle with four confusion, which is the one that makes you spin around. I'm kind of down to clown with this, I think. I'm just trying to think how that'll affect us. I'm going to try it out. It's, it's a little risky, but it sounds like fun. The castle has been completed. Good, good. Right, let's try and make our way towards a shop now. We've got a lot of money to work with. Um, where's the nearest one? Let's take a look at our map real quick. Okay, so we do have a shop. Let's let's make sure we go for that. So, as you can see, we do have multi ball going on here. This is this guy dead already. I didn't even think about how effective multi ball is going to be with that. I will. Hmm. I I think we should take another one of these. I'm not going to upgrade it yet. But I'm going to add it at least. But yeah, I didn't even think about how multi-ball with this portal thing is kind of sick. Because we have an additional chance to land in it now. That's like crazy good. Got these ninja warriors going on here. And with these balls as well, they're especially good because... We're hitting more pegs in general, which is going to spawn more crits in general. These guys are going to take a bit of a beating. But we do have a piercing coming up. They move very far when they move. Okay. It's a little concerning. They didn't do awfully well. And our portal spawned in a pretty awful spot. Not bad damage. Oh, these... I forgot these portals, like, suck your shots in, don't they? That's one of them dead, at least. At least that refreshes our board. And another one falls from the top of the screen again. I mean, this guy's mega dead. <laughs> Let's speed this up, actually. Beautiful. We continue on. We go straight for the chest here. Straight for the chest. A lot of weaving paths going on here. Enemies don't get their extra turn for your first reload. Deal 20 times uh, the number of reloads damage to all. Okay, let's just go with that one. Neither of them are particularly good, but let's go with that one. 
Um, and then here, I think I want to go for the battle. Probably should have tried for the bomb detonations. We, we, you can kind of build towards being able to get those bomb detonations more reliably, and I don't have any th any of those items. Now, these bombs do deal self-damage, so we've got to be careful of that, these red ones. But they're also kind of necessary for this fight, because these enemies have a lot of HP, and there's a lot of them. The kind of this, this is obviously specifically built for this, but as you can see, they deal good damage. But they also deal damage to us. Now, we don't really want to be hitting any more of them yet, because... <laughs> you see that one up there. <laughs> because there's only like two of them on screen. One like three or four of them on screen before we hit more red bombs, really. Trying to hit some money here if we can. That wasn't that wasn't really good, but that gets another one of them on screen. You gotta be careful because if they get really up close and personal to you and actually deal damage, you're kind of fucked. We're really hoping we hit a red bomb here. There you go. Because they'll uh, they'll like suicide bomb you, causing some real big issues. Beautiful. Damn it. Trying to hit more bombs, but not quite getting it. I keep hitting refreshes. Well, I keep hitting refreshes. More like I keep, like, just refreshing the board by getting kills is more, more the point. Again, this guy's pretty close. There we go. Okay, that's fine. We saved, we saved by the bell there. I'd like to hit another red bomb. There you go. But no more. No more red bombs. Ah, you bugger. Went one overboard and dealt a bit too much damage to ourselves there. We do have a doctor orb, which we can use to heal ourselves and just get rid of. But I think I'm just going to continue onwards, keep everything to myself. And then we want to be going for the combat here. Which is actually a little hard to specifically aim for, so I just gotta hope for the best here. You fuck. Okay, thank you. I'd rather land in the fire there, because that gives us the pretty much guarantee there. Good. Okay, we took a bit of extra damage there. Not a problem. Right, let's speed this up a little bit. We're going a little slower now. Let's have the game on two times speed. Right, um, put that away. Okay, this is an interesting one. We've got a few of these bomb boys. Okay, we almost killed everything. Okay, basically everything died. That was easy enough. Really, both of you missed that crit, but we're still going to get the kills here, I think. Okay, we're fine. There's, there's a few more spawning behind, but we're basically fine. We didn't need to... Like, use this orb for the piercing damage, really. It doesn't really make any difference, but... There you go. It's just, this is crazy. I love this. Yeah, we'll play the rest of the game on sped up, I think, apart from maybe the boss fight, because this video has been a little bit long. I didn't realize we were, uh... Running it so late. Um... I think we'll heal here, and then we'll continue on. And here's our shop. Or what we think is the shop, at least. I've not seen this icon before, so I do not know. It is a shop. Good to know. Okay, so this is... The ability to remove orbs is fantastic here. And there's some items for sale. Now, I think we want to go remove... Now, you can only remove one per shop, though. Intriguing. Okay, so... Bombs detonate in one hit. Increase your maximum HP by... I uh, think wall bounces contribute to damage... Orbs and relics contain additional option to choose from. I think we would take that. And I think we take that. And I think we exit the store. Okay. Shops are incredibly valuable. Well, we have actually another shop we can go for here. Which I actually think is a really good idea. Because then we can remove another orb. Which I think is going to be 30 each time, I hope. It's 45 this time. Okay. I'm still going to do it just to remove um, my level 1 stone. And exit the saw. Okay, so the, the increase, it does increase each time. I probably, I would, pro I would probably say that saving money up for specifically that is probably one of the better plays that you can make. Because removing orbs is a huge deal. It's, it's very valuable. Thinning out your deck. 
I think we've taken the right path here. Lots of items available. Deal one damage to targets. Ooh. Yes, go with that. Pick the elite. We gain plus one damage for every single crit that's on the board, which after using our crit balls, the ones that generate them, could be pretty interesting. Piercing's going to be good here, so let's go for the crit. Didn't get the refresh. We don't, we don't need it exactly. Now, bombs do detonate in one hit here. That could be good or bad, depending on the type of bomb we hit. Could, could these break? Thank you. Oh, they both went right. Why? Not bad damage. Let's speed her up again. There's one of the bombs. There's another bomb. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, this was good. Killed everything apart from Big Boy here, and he's going to go down pretty fast. So, because there's all these crits on the board, we're gaining plus one, plus one, plus one. We gain a flat plus two just because of the base crits on the board. But the more we generate, the better. Now, he gains damage every turn, so we really don't want to let him go wild. Because he is hurting quite a bit. I'd like to get the refresh, but... Okay, we didn't do too bad there. Right, I think now we want to go upgrade, and then boom, and then upgrade, and then boom. Get that to max, and then we heal up as well. Attacks gain minus one plus one for every... That's kind of interesting. Uh, bombs the Electro Damage. When they move, they leave a stationary copy at their previous position. Ooh, okay. Sounds pretty useful. Should lead to more crits. We want to go straight down here, of course, which is a little tricky. Don't land in the fire, you goofus. Stop. Damn it. Stop. Please don't land in the fire again. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord, I'm literally just killing myself here. That was pathetic. I lost so much health to that for no reason whatsoever. Um. Yeah. We just have a stacked damage build here. You find a waterfall just off the path. Ignore it and continue. That'll just give us another orb. I don't really want another orb right now. Interesting one indeed. Just create as many crits as you possibly can. The damage we're dealing is nice, but yeah, the crits we're making is just adding so much extra damage. The refresh is in a really bad spot here, so I'm glad we've got this thing where we get kills and it gives us a... Uh... Holy shit, we almost killed ourselves with bombs there. Fuck me. It's so many crits. It's just stacking like mad. I, our health is not looking good at all here. We're going to have to heal again. Good, good. And I think this is one off the boss, right? Yeah. And I think this boss is the final boss of the game. So we're doing pretty well. Summon onto a strange mirror. Duplicate, random or duplicate all of my orbs. Ooh. That's rough. Duplicate a random orb. Not health I wanted to be losing. I'm a little worried about the boss fight here. Our health is not good. The problem now here is that getting um getting the refreshes is going to be really problematic. Damage-wise, we're going to be pretty golden, I think. Actually, it's not going to be too bad, because it does move around a good bit. That was really bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. And they do heal as well. I think we're going to die here. We don't have the health to sit through this. And the refresh is just so out of reach for us. It spawned in such a bad spot. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to die here. We don't have any way to regain our health. And the refresh is effectively impossible for us to actually aim at. 
not impossible to hit. I'm going to say we just hit it there. There you go. But we're not going to have the damage to be able to do this. We've got 12 health left. The boss has so much health. And there you go. We unfortunately perished. Oh, we just didn't have enough sustain for the late game. But that was a really, really, really fun run on the new update. I have to say, I absolutely love the new update here. Very, very, very fun. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I hope you guys will um, want more Peklin in the future. Do let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.